Hi everyone, this is Natraj. I am back with the other video. Today I am going to talk about that enabling the API service in Google Cloud through Terraform. So in this video, I will show to you how to set up the Terraform to connect your GCP platform to manage your GCP infrastructure as the core. Set up the GCP. So these are the items should be required before you are uh, going to executing the Terraform. So those things we can see one by one. The first one is that creating the projects. So the project is mainly used for to organize your Google Cloud resource. So next one is that creating that IAM role and service account. So basically that assigning the role to that your Google service account to provide the access to the GCP resource. So next one is that creating that authentication keys. So the service account auth key is the file that provided with your authentication to your GCP resource. Next one is that store the keys. So storing key is that we need to download the key to your secret location to your local machine. In case I am naming as my file called terraform.json file. This particular file you have to pass into that your terraform provider section itself. So then only the communication happening between with your local machine as well as to that GCP resource level. So the, those things are done with the manually only. So in my, my upcoming videos, I can try to come with that uh, Terraform coding part. So in this video, I'm only focusing on that API level only. What is that GCP APIs? So GCP APIs standard for Google Cloud Platform Application Programming Interface. So to allow to assess your GCP service via API, we need to enable the service for the all the API access. So all the API service in the GCP have their own API. Some of the most of the popular APIs are I listed below here. Uh, first one is the Compute Engine API, Cloud Storage API, Cloud SQL API and the Cloud PubSub API. So like that all the GCP service we have to enable the API before creating that resource. All the APIs comes with the, some subdomain. Here I listed below a couple of things. Uh, first of all, you can see that Google API.com, Compute Google API.com. So same similar like that for other uh, service also that subdomain will be there. Right now I am at the GCP console. As I said earlier, I am created the couple of things by manually. Projects and the service accounts, these are the things. So no need to worry about. I can cover on my upcoming videos also. Now I am go to that my navigation menu here. Just I am clicking the API service. So just you can click it this particular option. Yeah, so these are the list of API service by it be enabled by default. Suppose in my case I want to enable the pub subs, so whether I can check it whether the pub sub is enabled or not. By default it will won't enable. Just I am typing the pub sub. So here you can see that two result will be showing. Now I am going to click with the first one. Yeah, so it's not be enabled. So this particular things only we are trying to achieve with the Terraform. In generally what will happen, most of the people they can enable that uh, APIs from the manual then only they are trying to create that resource for, through Terraform. But in my case, the API also I can run with the Terraform only. So that is my agenda of this video. So now I am moving back to my Visual Studio code. So we are at Visual Studio. Already I am cloning my source code from my repo. Uh, this code is available from my GitHub only. So anytime you can able to download this code. So we can see this uh, code by one by one. First I'm going to check on that uh, variable.tf file. So here I'm listed the two variables. The first one is the GCP service list. Basically I'm getting that input value from the strings. I converted with that list of things. So also the default function is I'm making that list is empty. Then I project ID I mentioned as the strings. Those things I provided with my Terraform TF files. You can see a thing. There are the list of items I'm going to enable. The first one is a pub sub. Then one is the DNS. So I provide that list here. And also the project ID, whichever I'm working on it. This is my test, my project level, the value I've defined here. Then I'm going to my provider.tf file. This is the Terraform required versions I am mentioning here. The most important things we have to check it on the provider block. You can see that in the credentials, 
so I'm using the service account and assigned with some role then I can download that keys from that again console the particular file I put it into my the same source code and I referred with the files these are the project I'm already defining in the variable and the region and the zones I'm working on these things now I'm going to click on that api.tf file here the two resources I defined the first one is the local variables the local variables mainly used to the manipulating your uh, state of the resource you can do with that data source and the such that but here I'm using the concatenate function so whatever the value I'm getting from the input variables those teams I can concatenate along with that this is my default value I defined here this local value so both value I'm concatenate with the list actually so why I'm doing this one sometime some of that APS we have to define with that default itself I do not expect with that uh, user input so such case we can do with this type of things so next resource is that global project service this particular resource mainly used to enable that all the APS you can see I think this is a variable project ID refer from the variable next one is the for each here I am using the two set that the two set is working is they removing the duplicate and combining with the single list actually. You can see a thing there is a some case the multiple person they wrongly given the multiple value in couple of time in this case either of that duplicate value will be can remove so that was the reason only I am defining with a two set. Using the for each I am pausing that one by one my string variables uh, it may enable that one uh, one by one all the APIs. So next one is that a disable dependency service I'll be creating some other things expected to enable the things so that was the reason only I'm trying to disable the things so next one is that disable on destroyed equal time true mention I don't want to destroy this particular things that was the reason only I make it true so now we are moving to that uh, terminal uh, then we can executing the terraform code so I click the new terminal first we are going to initialize the terraform I'm typing the terraform init command all the package is going to download here so now I'm entering the terraform plan command to validate the syntax and the resource direct definitions all the thing yes it be going to add that three resource it be showing like that then I'm directly executing the terraform apply command here so here one of the beauty is that I'm defining with the terraform.tf file it be you no need to pause anything so it by default automatically takes if you are providing with a different name you have to pause with the variable just I am entering the terraform apply command here yeah it asking for the user input is s I given it here so now is creating the resource so going to right now you're going to create the totally three resource pub set storage and a DNS yeah successfully the resource also created so we'll back to that our GCP console let us verify whether the service is enabled or not yeah so right now I am that uh, pops up API page just a refresh hinting here yes the API service is enabled we can verify that couple of api resource as well so i'm back with that product details page so just i click the api libraries um, yeah you can type it that dns yes i am entering here yeah this also api is enabled there is a other way also you can validate uh, then I am back with that API library things so you can click that API service enable the API service yeah this is one of the way also check it what other service is enabled yeah I hope uh, this video will be clear to everyone thanks for watching bye